This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 651, Tuesdays. We've been talking professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here. And we are coming from the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. We got a hell of a crew with us. It is Mayhem Mania Week 2. It is post-Royal Rumble. We are on the uh, yield sign to Royal Rumble. I want to take that from Mad Mike. And he's here. He is the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike up in Beacon, New York. That is true, and I spent my snow day making Legos and watching documentaries. Because <laughs> that's doing, doing you're doing you're doing top guy stuff out there. I see. I'm, I'm doing the Lord's work, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> In the year of the man, 2019, I am doing the Lord's work. Wow. Also with us on the couch, Larry. Hi. Who who who's who's sponsoring the Mayhem Mania board tonight? Yes. Yes. Presented by Dark Force Studios, and also presiding. He's here. He's not. He's not. In route, the Mayhem Mania board is ready. It is a new year brought yes. to you by Dark Force Studios. That's forged by Dark Forces. This whiteboard <laughs> that seems about right. Yes. It is going to get really dark here later in the show that when we get Mayhem Mania. Than dark by Dark Forge. Yes, uh, mainstream Matt presiding. Here I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I also, did the Vanna White thing. One more. Did, yes, you did. Okay. Also with us, he is now the Fight Society champion. And just in from the Bruiser Brody Cup, the Beast Man is with us. How's it going, Mike? Hey. <laughs> uh you, we're gonna get into it like you've you've had a hell of a couple of weeks here in 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 the wrestling world. I I wouldn't say hell. It's been uh Tremendous for me. I'll just put it like that. That's amazing. And show the show the bell. We got it. We got a yeah. tight shot on you there. Show the Let's bell. Show, show the Fight Society Championship. That thing is heavy. Something like forty five minutes against at least three other competitors in a gauntlet match. Yeah, that was a long night. That was a long <laughs> night. Fight Society, and we'll talk a little bit about that later in the show. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, but this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links and subscribe to us in podcast and video form or look us up on your favorite platform. If we're not there, let us know that we're not there and we'll take care of that for you. And you can let us know over at the email address. Good times. Good times, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. Facebook page and group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. A lot of great discussion, especially holy crap, you guys, on the Facebook group. There is so much going on over there. Thank you, everybody. It's been uh, people are so excited about Dean Ambrose and uh, Jack Swagger's stories from the last couple of days. They're on there multiple times. So it's like 2011 all over again. It guys. is. It is. And also, you can join us here live on Tuesdays. We go live with the Facebook on Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem Show at 9 p.m. Eastern Time every Tuesday. Uh, maybe we won't start the show for a half an hour for whatever reason, uh, but still, uh, it's a good time with us. We, we, we were showing off Legos and stuff. We, we, Matt, yeah. Mike, Matt Mike had to show what he did here on this uh, snowy uh, upper New York, upstate New York uh, uh, day Legos. a little bit. Oh, he's got a little bit there. There he is. There it is. What is that for the audio people? It, it is the Whomping Willow with the floor, Ford Anglia in it from Harry Potter. There you go. And it spins. <laughs> there you go. Uh, also, thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Uh, our friends at the fan of the show, $1 level. Bo Diggity! Woo! Beastman is on top of that. I've been waiting all week to say it. <laughs> <laughs> also with us uh, uh, on the dollar level, Ed Burke and Bobby F. J. Town and Tina Keys and the Pocky Club $5 level, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, and brand new Kyle Turner joins us on there. Um, and, and he's so excited to be a part of this that he left us a message, guys. 
So, oh um, oh. uh huh, uh huh. So, so he left us a message on Twitter of of things to come. So I, I want to make sure you guys uh, uh, get this. Uh, uh, Kyle left this. Oh, I muted the tab. My bad. My bad. Well, I'm muted. A little interesting this year, fellas, because I just lived up to my word. Guess who just joined the Pocky Club Woo! on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Patreon? That's right. You're about to get a real bastard stepping up in there and wreaking havoc on Mayhem Mania. You think Park's the only one who's a bastard? Wait till you see what I have in store. <laughs> that, is, that, that is some big talk for a Mayhem Mania. Big talk right? for a rookie, Sorg. Big talk. Yeah, you know what I say? I say, don't sing it. Bring it, Chico. <laughs> That's what I say. At the, at the rate know, people are... Superstars from 1992. At, at the rate people are coming in, like, maybe everyone's going to get, like, two turns max over the next two months. <laughs> exactly. You know? Everyone's just, like, it, it, they're, they're storming the fort right now, like, they're trying to get in on this. Work. It's good. <laughs> Alex, I'm excited. Alex Cars is in there and says, too pocky me, Kyle. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Again, for, for the uh, Pocky Club, for the Patreon members, you guys do get some preferential treatment and the special Patreon on the Bank Week uh, if you're a Patreon supporter uh, at the end of the uh, of, of this Mayhem Mania festivities. Also, at the Pizza Club $10 level, our friends at the TheWrestlingRevolution.com uh, helping us out over there with some graphics and stuff. You guys can support the show, too. Get in on the Mayhem. Get some extra stuff. And I don't know. We're talking about Awesome Cast. We're about how um, uh, we're going to have a onesie night on Awesome Cast. So if there's anything weird that you guys in the Ooh. like Pocky Club and, and other clubs uh, over on the Patreon want to happen, go I, go shoot us a message um, on the Patreon um, and so, uh, and uh, you know, do enhance the show. You know, Sorg as a future patron. Yes, I'm signing up for Patreon. As uh, you do. To, yes. Um, I suggest a cosplay night. Cosplay night. Cosplay is your favorite wrestler. Ooh. That, it's, I'm throwing it out. We'll so. talk about it when you sign up for that Patreon at patreon.com. I'm just, wrestling I'm just show. I know. You're just, pre- idea. you're just calling your shots, man. You're just calling your shots. I'm an idea, man. And uh, anyway, so uh, this was the wrestling rate. <laughs> Ty Cross is saying, "How many weeks until I can be back on? We'll see." We're so you back next week. week. After that first week, never. No, I'm just oh, joking. Wow. Ty, you did oh, good. Wow. You Learned did good, Ty. Bring it back next week. T Cross. T Cross. <laughs> anyway, so T-Y-Cross. it was. I don't even know who this guy is. It was right. a big weekend with the Royal Rumble. We talked a little bit about it on the wrap up last night between the Rumble and mostly the uh, Monday Night Raw things, but a lot of things happening. So much so that um, oh wait 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 Mike is showing off the uh, Becky shirt. It was it was the night of the man, wasn't it? It's the year of the man, twenty nineteen. Hashtag trademark. Right, and she's all over every every WWE programming. It seems ever since last night on Raw, yeah. as you do when you have a top star. That's right. Is she is you don't hide them. Top men doing top things. Sorg is Becky the female Stone Cold Steve Austin of this Becky generation? Is so yep. Cold. <laughs> yep. she's got the knee brace now old. doesn't she yeah, she does she have does. the knee brace it's all coming together there you go she, she had the sucker punch she's earlier. got a knee brace she's feuding with a second generation wrestler like it's all right there wow that is wow that is on point isn't it yes it is it exactly is wow um uh-huh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but no, I, I think it was it was a lot of fun uh, uh, that rumble between that and um, uh, the the reason one of the reasons that we have jump started bringing back an intergender panel uh, <laughs> next week on the Indie Mayhem show. We just announced it. Marcus Mann is going to be here. He's uh, he's going to help me uh, form the panel next Wednesday. Uh, well, last time we had uh, Honey Badger and Jinx. Thoughts on intergender wrestling? Was that Man Mike? I have so many thoughts on intergender wrestling. What are your thoughts? Maybe we should just throw you on the panel. But immediately, um, Nia Jax in the men's rumble. Um, what did it take? Three finishers to put her out? I, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's that's the most significant part about her being in that Royal Rumble, uh, the, the men's rumble, was the fact that they were delivering like high impact moves to mm-hmm. not, like they she got super kicked in the face sorg mm-hmm. all right Jackson, that's not that's just some bullshit. straight up lucha underground stuff going on right there this ain't no like mixed match challenge i won't touch you thing going on they were they were knocking her around like and, and that's kind of why this whole thing is reignited now yeah man mike nia Jax was in the rumble longer than 
Bobby Lashley, Apollo Crews, Xavier Woods, Jinder Mahal, and um, Tyus O'Neal combined. Jeez. Wow. And had more eliminations, obviously. Some people, and we're getting mixed. And, and, and it's not, not everybody's down with this. Uh, uh, we have people in the chat room saying okay, they I hated say next it. Year, do a 50 person rumble. 25 men, 25 women, go for whatever belt you want. <laughs> That's what I, I say. There, there are, they it's keep obvious. Their fucking spots in that rumble. It's it's obvious after seeing the reaction. There are two types of wrestling fans: mm-hmm. those who are down with the intergender wrestling, and those who are not. And there is like there's no crossover. And those who are not are not coming over. I mean, yeah. they're not. Oh, yeah. And those who are not cannot say they want to watch an Avengers movie again because I recall Captain America punching Proxima Midnight in the face. <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. what I'm saying. It's entertainment. So that just happened. Okay. It's entertainment. You can't watch. Any Game of Thrones, but this is wrestling. But this, this is wrestling. This is re- we were just no, no. This is no, wrestling. It's entertainment. It is entertainment. It, it is entire, entertainment. entertainment. But it is you wrestling. Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. You can't watch Glow. Mm-hmm. You can't watch oh, anything on the CW. Mm-hmm. You and can't I, watch Jerry Springer. Like, there's a lot of things you can't watch if you don't want to see, you know, equal representation between men and women. I, I think what we're getting at here is like nothing mad mike just said there is going to convince those on the other side of this <laughs> argument to come over no, to this know, side but like none of it like yeah, they don't want to yeah. they don't care i mean either they, way it's, either it's way either they way feel. they got a reaction when that went down right oh, uh, yeah. from the from the from the uh chat room ty cross uh, says if anybody earned the right to be booked like a badass it's that dude i believe referring to randy orton uh and he has no problem wrestling and selling for a woman uh, yeah, I mean, there was no hesitation there, and it was a great story, and it got a lot of great reactions. Well, there was a little hesitation. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's a, he's actually referring to Brian Cage in intergender wrestling. So, oh yeah, Brian Cage. a great intergender wrestler. Yes, Brian Cage versus Taya is still one of my favorite Lucha Underground matches of all time. Absolutely. Um, it's still one of them. It is pretty amazing that we went from eh, I don't think WWE's going to pull the trigger to oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like this is a whole new ball game, and everybody's oh he, yeah Ty Cross is confirming uh, uh, Brian Cage in that comment. Um, so <laughs> Cars is still waiting for the thirty team Rumble. Mm-hmm. No, they mm-hmm. they they don't ha- they don't know how to work with the teams they do have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can't we can't deal with like six women's teams at this point. So, um, but they, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, those qualifying matches got real obscure real quick. Didn't yes, they? Larry, high points from Rumble. Um. The man winning. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Titus didn't go under the ring unintentionally. Good job, Titus. You know, <laughs> Give, there was, uh, there was a lot of under ring plate <laughs> over that between Zelina Vega and yeah. Kurt Hawkins and, and Titus. And I would, I like how he was it's offended what? that Curtis, Kurt Hawkins is under the ring as if that's his, his domain. When clearly it's Hornswoggles. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's obviously. where Hornswoggle lives. That is in canon. And that's what happens to Zelina Vega when you hang out long enough in someone's home. They're I'm just, gonna kick you out. I'm just waiting for PB Smooth to pop out of from under the ring along with mm. Hornswoggles since they tag up there in Cleveland. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh Beastman, you had a very, very busy weekend. Did you did you even get to catch the rumble in your uh, in your craziness? No, nah, I didn't see it. You were still winded from the rocky steps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but well, we'll get to your stuff here in a minute. But um, from that, I, I think we had a pretty uh, good. Uh, again, we got into a lot of what, what was going on with Raw last night. We, um, didn't, we didn't nearly talk about Takeover as much. No, as no, Takeover. Takeover is great. We have Johnny Champion. Johnny Champion. That is uh, Matt, uh, Main Street Matt is representing the Johnny Takeover over here in the studio. Johnny freaking Takeover. Mm-hmm. Man, oh man. Um, both Mr. and Mrs. Gargano making Royal Rumble debuts. I know. And you, you know what? And you know, getting back to the rumbles, I'm sorry to loop back around. No, with that's you fine. On this one, I, I, but think, like, I think I just did the, um, the rules of the Royal Rumbles, the, the rules, Sorg, um, there apparently are none anymore. Like you can just like, <laughs> you can just like chill on the outside, like Billy Kay for an entrant or two. You can go under the ring, you know, doesn't matter. Um, you know, I just hang out over here for a while. You, know, and... you, you can like, so you can like lay on your back without your feet touching the floor, and and you're good. That's I mean, that both I, feet I touch had... the floor. I mean, can't like, don't we have to take like an NFL, 
you know, kind of rule here where like your back has to count as two feet. I mean, no, you know, like with it that. I mean, they were really feet. pushing that. They're how? really pushing it. How? And so, so <laughs> he, fair, if they're not going to give him a win, he can only do so many things. Right. Right. Like, unless you're going to have a bunch of people get eliminated, and then Kofi Kingston is literally going to Mario Goomba stomp them back to the ring. That's the only thing left he can do. It's like they watched that Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns cage match where um, the wrong person won and said, oh, wait, so his back hit, but he didn't win. So does that mean in the Rumble? And uh, you, you saw a lot of that. But also we had like, I mean, I saw like at one point, like Kofi was like his complete body is on the ground, except for one foot is sticking in the air. And I'm like, look, 95 percent of his body is on the floor. <laughs> Like, he's yeah. out. <laughs> it's over, Matt. We only care about the feet. It's only about the feet. All right, here's another. Here's another. Th- I mean, we we need that's, a Billy K rule. We need a BK true. broiler rule. A BK broiler rule. All right. Okay. You can't hang on the outside and not even get into the ring over the course of multiple entrants following you in. You, not, you she's have not to the first one to have done get that. in the ring. She did get there in the needs ring. to be a rule. This has to be stopped, Sorg. Okay. This cannot be allowed to ring. persist. She didn't get into the ring until like a, a couple other entrants had already it's like her being lapped, you know, she's on a she's on a track and, and she's been lapped two times and then she finally, you know, decides to get into the race. I mean, you gotta I, I think they should make it a rule. They're not gonna make this a rule. I don't even hey, know Matt, why I'm talking Matt. about this. Who hold cares? On. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Matt, Matt here Matt. we 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 got, Give me we got the rule book right here. Right. It's, so you, it's yeah, not in here. here. I know it's not in here. Is there oh, there's gotta be a Royal there's Rumble there. Look at the glossary. Let's call it the actual smart person rule. <laughs> Where in the blue because is, Billy K is the most intelligent woman on the roster. They saw of it. course you're going to wait for your friend. Yes. Because you know when your friend is coming out. Exactly. She knew, she knew Peyton was coming out in two turns. Because they're buddies. Like, yeah. And to answer Beastman's question, the uh, WWE Book of Rules is available at fine bookstores. And, this thing has no internet. glossary, Sorg. This what? Is, I need to see that book. Just, there you go. Beast I want, I want to double check and make sure that Stone Cold actually won in 98. Since we have four fed, I gotta find that. In here. If, if this were a legitimate <laughs> sporting competition, I would go to the competition committee after this year's Rumbles. And I would say, I believe there should be a rule where you must be in that ring before the countdown hits zero for the next entrant. I mean, Matt, at least that would bring a little wait, bit of wait, wait, drama wait, 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 wait. to whether wait, BK wanna, is gonna just kind of like, roll how long back. is she gonna drag us out? I wanna roll this back. I wanna, Mike, hold on a second. I wanna roll this back. Mainstream Matt, if there was a championship committee, a rules committee, who do you think would make up that body? Vince McMahon. <laughs> okay, fine. Right, right, right. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. I think the, the commissioner of the NFL Vince is not on the on, on the uh, on the competition committee. No, no, the no. competition committee usually consists of like some head coaches, maybe a player or two. So, I mean, I think uh, you need uh, like a manager to a guy. I would bring Drake Maverick on. Oh, um, I think it's a good experience pick. both as a general a manager pick. and as a yeah. regular manager. Multi talented. Um, okay. Let's see who else would I? Uh, I would try to bring in somebody who's, who's well versed in in like cheating. Okay. So we could try to root that out. So I would get uh, I would get Ric Flair on the competition committee. Oh, makes he sense. He's the dirtiest player in the game. He Absolutely. would know all about uh, kind of helping to clean that up. So mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I think that's a pretty good start right there. Who else do you think we should bring on to this thing? Who else can we bring on to this thing? Uh, um, I think, uh, hmm. Hmm. I think hmm. uh, I think I think somebody technical like Dean Malenko would make sense. Drew well, Dean Malenko makes everything better. So yeah, we have yeah. Drew Gulak. You know what? Drew Gulak. Drew would, Gulak would, gets on this competition committee. No one's coming off the top rope again. For the, he would pull a hell Drew of a Gulak PowerPoint together. Drew Gulak puts a better Damn it. Yeah, that's true. What, what was that, Larry? He would pull up. He would pull together a hell of a PowerPoint. Oh, yeah. oh wait, wait. You're looking at the WWE Book of Rules <laughs> now. What are you looking up? Royal Rumble rules. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Now, now see, see, you say Royal Rumble rules. Yes. But um. Guys, guys, let's 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 do do a favor. Let's hop in the TARDIS. Oh, he's holding up a TARDIS, guys. Is that a Lego TARDIS? Let's go TARDIS? back to Royal Rumble 1999. Royal Rumble 1999. Yeah, first two entrants. Yes, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon. Yes, okay. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> um, Tell us what yeah. happened, Mike. All right, so so we're, we're gonna go in. The, we're gonna go in the TARDIS. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it because. Vince ran away from the rumble. He slid under the bottom rope. Yes. Ran mm-hmm. up through the crowd. Perfectly legal. Into, into the women's bathroom. Uh, 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 illegal for the Royal Rumble. Illegal in several states. 
Well, frowned upon. Yes. Frowned upon. We'll just say frowned upon as an yeah, average. Frowned upon. Yes. But it was clearly already quartered off because the entire corporation was there yes. to assault Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-huh. And then Vince McMahon returned to the ring but did not get in the ring. In fact, did commentary on the entire fucking match. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, again, smartest person rule. Yes. You don't have to get into the ring. He if was, people but he was you in, are the not ring. in the ring. He was in the that ring initially. Very- you see, Billy Kay never even got into the ring, and there was yes, like two did. more people who passed her. No, she did not. All right. Now we're going to go to the videotape. We're going to check this. <laughs> go to the Larry's going to check Listen, this right, right now. Let's, let's and I'm going to tell you, Billy Kay sat on her ass on the outside of the ring while two other people got in that match before Peyton finally showed up and they decided to get in. Actually, Billy didn't even wait for Peyton. She actually got in before then, didn't That's she? That's right. That's right. I don't even know what's going uh, on. Beast Why are we talking yes. about this? Beast Man. If you were in the Royal Rumble, and let's be honest, you will be one day. Okay. What would your strategy be for the Royal Rumble? Beat the everybody with my bone and throw them over the top rope. You Come would over. bring the bone. Yeah, absolutely. There, That's there's a nothing, solid strategy. There's nothing in the rule book that says you can't bring in anything. And you just read the entire rule book. Absolutely. Okay. Bones are legal. Bone, nothing against bones nope. in the Royal Rumble. Again, smart person strategy. Also, a not a foreign object because it's a body part. Absolutely. Cactus Jack and uh, Terry Funk brought chairs and garbage cans that one year. So mm-hmm. why not? There you go. Raven, you go. Raven brought a whole and, trash can full of stuff. And if worse comes to worse, I will also bring Bulldozer with me. Okay. In case Beastman does get eliminated, I can oh, come back as Bulldozer. So Bulldozer is going to have a number. Yep. Okay. So, okay. Be careful. It's every man for himself. Yes. All right. Yes. I Just mean, say, what would happen yes, if Beastman... Make sure you trust what would happen if Beastman faced off against Bulldozer? Well, I, that I, that I can't answer. So <laughs> no, it would be it would be like Ms. Dow uh, fighting himself. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. On that note, hey guys, there's a lot of things going on on the Indie Wrestling Network. If uh, hey, what if there was a network for Indie Wrestling? Well, we got one over at Indie Wrestling dot no network, the Indie Wrestling dot US network. Uh, over there. We got a lot of great stuff, including um, just this week, we released um, a new Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories, where you get to find out what it's like to sit at an Eaton Park with Kamala. Mm -hmm. That's a story where he talks about pulling a gun on Andre the Giant over uh, pie. Did, um, <laughs> did, did he get the pie? He he. What? Did he get the pie? Yeah. No, he was eating the pie while he was telling oh. the story about pulling a gun on Andre the Giant. Oh, okay. I thought he pulled a Context. gun on Andre the Giant because he tried to take his pie. No, 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 no. This is a separate thing. This gotcha. is these are two okay. things right. these separated, are important details. separated by about thirty years of history. <laughs> well, probably about twenty years of history actually at that point. Um you can also hear stories about uh Balls Mahoney yelling at people at Denny's and also some stories about Beastman made it in there this week as well. Mmm uh, but no, go check it out. Episode nine of Duke and Doe's <laughs> Hardcore Memories. Uh, again, uh, somebody that, uh, uh, you know, Shirley Doe, who was around and, uh, a lot of these guys um, around the arena when ECW was happening and wrestled a lot of the guys. There's great stories in there about him and Sandman um, over the years. And also uh, 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 Duke Davis, who grew up on the stuff. And now he's a, a wrestler doing great things. He's going all over. The, uh, Duke's going Duke seems to be on a new promotion like every other week, it seems. Uh, so uh, check out that in the main event. Speaking of which, the main event on the uh, Rise Strong Pod on the WMS Superfeed uh, from our friends at Rise Wrestling. So I'll throw that plug in there, too. Also check out Episode 2 of Breakfast with Champions, the latest from Uprise and IWC's uh, Reloaded 5.0, Rise Wrestling, t- 2PW, uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling, and so much more over there. Thank you, everybody. I've seen a lot of new uh, sign ups here this week and people uh, message me about a lot of the content we have going on there go check it out with your subscription $5.99 a month check out a seven day free trial for new sign ups at indie wrestling.network and thank you everybody for supporting indie wrestling all right guys so beast man's been doing a lot of stuff he ended up in philadelphia well, for, well actually let's go roll back a second you won a championship several weeks ago for for uh fight society there it is right there and uh so, so did i see you did you did i see you say this took five years yeah uh since i started i well i started with pwx when i was 
twenty, so it was like two thousand eight. Kind of the precursor over over company of of Fight Society. Now. Yeah, and then when I left there, I swore to myself I would never go back. But five years later, I went back, and here I am today, the champ. Have you ever been in a forty five minute match like that before? I can't imagine you doing too many Ironmans. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. So <laughs> that had to be incredible. Um, with a, a friend of the show, Brohemoth, Patrick Hayes, and uh, Shirley Doe you started mm-hmm. off with. Yeah. Who of Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories, of course, right? So uh, so tell us, you went to Philadelphia this weekend for a pretty incredible event. Yeah, I went to Philly for the uh, first ever Bruiser Brody Cup presented by Modern Vintage Wrestling. And this whole uh, tournament, this whole show, I have been like, focused on since like september is when i was announced for it and i have been so nervous about this like i'm usually not a guy that shows my nerves Mm -hmm. but i was very nervous about this event because i was going in ring with guys like sammy callahan michael elgin the bulldozer matt tremont and you know stan hansen abdul the butcher was in the building sitting there watching me uh, getting to perform for a tournament for my hero, which was amazing. And Philadelphia, sellout crowd, you can't ask for anything better than that. Mm-hmm. And the experience was amazing. Like, if it, I'll probably never get a rush like I did that night. And it was an honor, even though I came up short. Uh, it was an honor being in that tournament, and if I, like I was telling people the other day, if that was my one moment, like if I would retire now or leave the business, that would be what I'd leave on. Can't I mean, there's really not much more I can say about it. I mean, it was just awesome. It was genuinely, it was, it was awesome. Like, Charlie and Drew put on a good product. Uh, you know, it's funny how, it's funny how, right place right time is actually true because i met uh i met charlie at olympus wrestling at wheelie island casino april 29th i met them uh he watched my match he booked me in september for jersey first time i've ever been out there went out there put on a hell of a show asked me to be a part of the bruiser brody cup here i am now uh i mean it's just Karma. I, I, it's hard to explain how I feel right now about, but it was, it was a great feeling. It's awesome. I know. I saw videos of you running up the rocky stuff. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, From two different angles too. Yeah. So, anytime I go to a new city, I, if it's like okay, I feel like going to Philadelphia. There's always three things I want to do: either cheesesteak, see the ECW arena, run the rocky steps, mm-hmm. and uh, well, sorry, and see the Liberty Bell. So. So, I mean, so Friday before the show, one of the little sightseeing. I went to try to go see the Liberty Bell. Unfortunately, thanks to our great president, the government shut down. Oh no! Couldn't go see it, and then we couldn't three, even get in. Like, no, get to it. Couldn't even get. I had to look through a glass. Like I had to look through oh. a glass piece of glass to see it. And the best part about it was two hours later, the, sh- the government's reopened. <laughs> That's the best part about it. So, so did you go back and ring the bell with your bone? Unfortunately, no. That, that's the photo op that needs to happen. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then we went to go to the art museum, and I wanted to see the Rocky statue, and I wanted to go run the steps. And bucket list thing is one thing I always wanted to do. Get to do it, it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Jesus, it was it was it, those steps are steep. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look steep, but once you run them, they're steep. So the only thing I didn't like about it was the two was the man and woman in the way. I had to tell them to get the hell out of the way. So <laughs> you know, fat man coming through. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, you can see it on the uh, on his uh, account. There he is. It's on your Facebook Live. Pull it up, Missy. There you go. <laughs> okay. um, also, I, I, I got a picture here. You debuted a little bit of a new look for uh, for the weekend as well. Is that right? Yes. Is that what this is from? Whoa. Look at this. So you, you got like the whole like, uh, what are you wearing there? Is it a a bear, a tiger? I, I can't really tell from this angle. It's a bear vest that uh, I got made at stages mm-hmm. in uh, Wheeling. Uh, it took four months to get it done. Jeez. A funny story. Uh, Sam Elias gave me the idea about it at uh, Lucha Fiesta. He's like, you need to like come out a- with like some sort of robe, like some sort of animal robe to make you stand out. That's uh, Sam Adonis for 
Sam and Dawn's yeah. yes. Yeah, for the rest of us. Yeah. So I had uh, Christian Noir draw me up a design. He he drew me up that. And I was like, I had to find, like, I could actually, I didn't know where to get one made like that. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought, like, think of actual bear pelt with a vest. But then I go to Stages and Wheeling, uh, great people. They have made so much, they fixed so much of my gear. Mm-hmm. Uh, I asked, like, I go in one day to ask them to fix my new tights that I got made. And I showed them the sign. They said they could do it. So the first prototype wasn't the best. Uh, there was no, it, it looked like a cuddly teddy bear with uh, fangs. <laughs> <laughs> so you need a little more than that, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. after about two, about a couple more drawings to show them what done, it, we got the finished product, as you can see right there. So I'm trying to rebrand. Like I'm not, I'm trying to rebrand a little bit. Uh, came up with the moniker of the Stone Age Savage. Mm-hmm. And it's just something like Tommy it, Dreamer says I need to be like my character needs to be a little bit more modernized. So <laughs> So we need to modernize the caveman. Is that is that why you're playing with the cell phone tonight? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like he uh, have you ever heard of an SNL skit called uh caveman lawyer yes i have i I highly recommend it i will make sure i watch it again when i get home but the the savage thing like the savage name is overdone Mm -hmm. savage Uh, savage gentleman not to take away from victor yeah yeah obviously not to take away from him he does it well Mm -hmm. so stone age like uh i was talking to josh mann Mm -hmm. one day and he's like why don't you call yourself the stone age savage because we were just thinking of like monikers and stuff like they're like the bedrock badass is one we came up with uh, <laughs> i like that i like that i, I don't want to get sued by hannah barbara in case something <laughs> happened so so the um stone age savage thing came up and i teared with it a little bit and i wanted to make sure like this this is how much i respect people in the business i don't want to take away from other people you know mm. if, like Save like if I wanted to call myself the hair apparent and LaRusso found out, he'd probably pull his hair out when he kicked my ass. So <laughs> But it, like out of respect though, I wanted I asked Victor if it was okay if I used the savage name mm. as long as we're not like in the same premise, but we don't work the same places anyway. Yeah, typically. So he's out yeah. doing he's out doing his own thing, I'm out doing mine and which is good both getting our names out there. Mm-hmm. So I figured there's plenty of indies to go around. Yes. And Mm -hmm. I figured the Brody cup would be the perfect place to introduce it. And voila. So it's, I'm rebranding everything. I'm still like, still going to be the beast, man. You're still going to get the cave, man. You're still going to get the bone. Just a little more, uh, a little more savage. Just to, you know what I mean? Is, is the headband still going to be part? Cause I've noticed the headband the last, the, I've noticed the beast man headband and I've noticed the West headband. <laughs> okay. You want to know the story about the headband? Yeah, of course. I knew there'd be a story about the headband. Okay. So my friend, my best friend, John, he always wears headbands all the time. Mm-hmm. And I, since I started going, like, I started going back to the gym a couple months ago. Uh, and I went like with the, how long my hair was, I couldn't see. So I, he had left his headband in my car one day. And I just put it on and worked out and, it kind of like, I kind of, okay, I like it. So I wore like 26 headbands of all shapes and colors and uh, wanted to like, whenever I work out, I wear one just to keep sweat down. Then I need one one day for uh, for wrestling for, because I always gel my hair up to spike it up. And the sometimes the gel won't set and it'll, it'll kind of go down in my eyes and stuff. So really, the I just grabbed my pink headband out of the thing and just put it on. And I really just like, I only mainly wear the headband just to keep this, the gel and the sweat off from getting into my eyes really more than anything. So awesome. And, and I great just, story, huh? And, <laughs> and I see, um, there was a picture, but I don't think it was a public one. That, that was a fun one. Is it, it with Palace? One. Yeah. Where, where was that? I saw it pop up somewhere. That, on my that, feeds. that was, uh, it was on Instagram. Oh, okay. I just saw that. <laughs> we took that on Friday at the Brody cup and I just saw it today. It just, it made me laugh. Like, I'll, I'll have to find it for you guys out there. But, um, um, I, I wanted to throw this out there as a more timely announcement here. Uh, you are actually, um, and, Mike, please hold your groans. Uh, you are uh, set to take on Billy Gunn here in a few weeks. Yes. It looks like. Yes, down in Union Town for uh, good old UCW. They're bringing me in to take on Mister Ass himself. So it's it, it's going to be interesting because uh, 
Billy Gunn, somebody I actually liked Billy Gunn when he was Rockabilly growing up. Oh my <laughs> god, Rock, Billy Gunn, Rockabilly half fan. I just liked it because of the theme song, Rockabilly. Oh, not no, Rockabilly. I think it's how it went back then, but no, nah, it's an honor, man. Like getting to work with guys like like him, especially in the position that he's now with AEW being executive producer. You never know what's going to happen, so I'm looking forward to it. Like a lot of big opportunities are coming up, like a lot. Like, I'm like, I think the biggest one, like, out of the whole weekend that you're talking about, uh, the thing I think the biggest thing that really surprised me, uh, Rob Feinstein, who runs RF, who owns RF Video, uh, put me over in one of his posts on Saturday, nope. which, nice. was, which was very, which is a big compliment. I wasn't expecting it. Like, but Rob's a good dude, and I thank you, Rob, for doing that. You didn't have to. I'm very humbled. So I'm never ashamed of like thanking people who've given me any rubs or any opportunities like that. So it's just like, and then like you get Billy Gunn. I also got uh Sin Bodie coming up here at Lucha Lucha Rex. Lucha Wrestle Rex mm-hmm. down Wrestle at Rex, Rex Theater. Yes, that's a crazy looking show, and I was I was excited to see that you were on the on I'm the ready. I am so ready for this match. Is that the one at the end of February? <laughs> yeah, that's yes. the one that's going to be headlined. I'm extremely jealous of that show. Yeah, the, the headline for this is going to be the Lucha Brothers, Pentagon and Phoenix against DJ Z and Sam Adonis. Bah, 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 bah. And it's going to be like, like well, I guess it's going to be an in, um, an in venue version of what we had out here for Lucha Fiesta across the street. I can't wait. Uh, by the way, Lucha Fiesta, which featured a lot of Beast Man, um is available uh new over at indie wrestling.us i know it was on another platform that i think a lot of people weren't happy about after the show yeah i think it was on uh, Fight TV. yeah it wasn't good to drop them but uh <laughs> sorry Debbie. it's all right it's all right sorry hope i don't have to pay fines or anything it is on indie wrestling.us uh if you want to go see uh that and uh, wrestle rex would be actually involved in that as well uh so uh no a lot of a lot of fun stuff going we have some questions for beast man in the chat room here sure uh first of all oh where was that one um was asking (laughs) well uh as uh uh, jabari is asking about the new jack story uh is is that safe for podcasts i mean we go pretty far on here no it's not but i got a good story about (laughs) no but i can tell you a good story about jabari in a shampoo bottle in the bathroom so um maybe that should be for off the podcast uh, should be for off the podcast (laughs) yeah i'll I'll tell you that one later so (laughs) (laughs) uh cars is asking i hope beastman or is saying stating i hope beastman beats billy gunn and ask him for an AEW contract after not gonna ask for no contract if i get one i deserve one so hey he is he is a producer on or not what do they call him agent or yeah, no, producer it. producer yeah. producer on uh, AEW. so you never know you know opportunities and such but all right uh but anyways uh w- w- hey where can people find what's going on with you online and uh with all your shows coming up you ready missy okay facebook.com backslash at beastman beastman husk also find me on twitter at beastman husk uh, I got rid of my Instagram account because I never used it. So, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, if you want to follow West Betty, well, that's where we at, get at Fetty Smalls with a Z. Fetty Smalls, and that's where we can see the uh, the, the flash dance uh, yes. <laughs> pink headband picture as well. So, I do have a uh, a news update from SmackDown. Uh, thanks oh, for- my oh my god! Oh my god! Producer oh my god, Missy, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, hold on, my god, my god. Mike, Mike, I'll let you talk. Explain what's going on. Are you? Are, we're talking about the belt, right? The new sustainable championship it's made of hemp and repurposed wood that's I'm amazing so excited. yes and i, I th- literally said this weeks ago i think it has turquoise in it also is that turquoise what is it wait well, stones. it's not turquoise There's it's stones. colored wood it's colored wood like is it that's it's colored amazing. Wood. i thought they glued like s- stones on there no that is sure? colored wood that's <laughs> daniel it. bryan now has to have a title reign of 420 days <laughs> Why is that? How long it takes for it to no decompose? more hemp? No less <laughs> for hemp. Oh, gotcha. And for he hemp. needs to lose it. Yes. To Rob Van <laughs> Dam, and then and then Rob Van Dam loses it three days later. In 420 no. minutes. In yes. 420 Where's minutes. Where's the belt, Rob? In a car he with Sabu it. smoking it up. <laughs> he's gone, he's man. It. There you go. And he, sm- he smokes it. He, up. he rolled it up and smoked it. <laughs> smoked it. Now, you know, hey, hey, that's a good idea. While we're talking about Beastman's rebranding. Like what you need? It's a new smoking I mean, skull belt. I mean, uh, it's a smoking skull belt. 
<laughs> you got that belt. You got a championship there, Beast Man. Yep. Uh, Fight Society championship over there. Uh, uh, what? A, like we need a we need a Beast Manize it. We need like like it needs to have like fur and bone as part of it. Like like a new design, right? Yeah, I could put some leaves and sticks on it too. Maybe leaves and okay. sticks. <laughs> And he just needs to be look like you left it in the woods since the last uh, last show at Fight Society. <laughs> like what happened? Well, it was in or, the cave. Or like, a, just have it be a stone, like just a big stone with some crude hieroglyphics etched into it. Oh, cave paintings. <clears throat> I don't think Quinn would like that. But <laughs> hey, like man, a, you're the champ. I'm just saying, a, you're the champ. It's your belt just until somebody takes it from vine. Me. What's that? Just attach it to a vine. It's not even a belt. And this, I do remember from the WWE Book of Rules is floating around here, that the champion can customize the belt in any way that he can. That is a yep. WWE rule. You can always Naomi so, did it. And I haven't seen a Fight Society rule book lately, so I'm just saying. I didn't even know a Fight Society rule book existed. I mean, I know they got rules. They used to say them all the time. Uh, and I think they're on well, the what website What kind now. of society would it be without rules? That's so. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's an Enzo Amore yeah, certificate no, of achievement. No, nope, 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 Speaking nope. Of, no, he is not allowed in society. Nope, I'm going to edit that out of the show. They were advertising that book in the back of the Best of 2018 magazine sitting over there. I just well, picked up. Well, yeah, it's a so, good book. Hey, the book's been around for a couple of years. So No. No? No. I feel like I've came It came out last year. Oh, well. It's sword, been- sword. In- Months seem like years. Yes, they lately. do. Yes, they do. Especially around this show. But guys, uh, we have Mayhem Mania coming up, and uh, we're going to yeah, get yeah, a few Mayhem different Mania. faces. Beastman. I can't wait to see what Beastman is going to do <laughs> I can't to wait. these matches. Um, we got the new board. Again, the Mayhem Mania board brought to you by DarkForgeStudios.co. From the dark forges. Forged in the dark. Forged by Dark Forces. Yes, just like Mayhem Mania itself. We'll be back with that. But first, I want to give a shout to our friends at Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the Perfect Pepperoni Pizza and Pittsburgh Pro Wrestling and the show as well. Thank you to our friends at Slice on Broadway. If you're in and around Pittsburgh, go check out one of their four locations. And again, the uh, promotion that I did not ask them for. Please, if you have Broadway in your hometown that's not Pittsburgh, take a picture of the street sign. Tell them you want Slice on your Broadway. Hit them up on their tweets, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter, and uh, we will help the global expansion of our friends at Slice on Broadway. Uh, SliceonBroadway.com We will be back after this message with Mayhem Mania. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com we are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is Mayhem Mania season. And, of course, we do have the Beastman Fight Society champion is here with us. Hand gesture for you guys on audio. We also do, of course, have Larry with us. Hello. Yes. And we also have, uh, what, the big board, Matt Carlin's Main Hello. Street Matt. Oh, yes, yes, exactly. We are here for Mayhem Mania. I don't think um, that was a proper introduction. It's for kind of way, a so. competitive thought experiment. <laughs> We're trying to create the best WrestleMania card possible within the bounds of this current reality in which we all live this is not fantasy booking this is reality booking um we're trying to make the best card humanly possible imagine that you are vince mcmahon with unlimited resources and no self-control so you're vince Vince McMahon. mcmahon um uh on last week's episode um we brought eight people in they all created one match this is our starting point right now as you see we'll run through these matches in a minute Tonight, we're going to have five people come in, and each one of them will make one single change uh, to one of the matches on this card. So um, what you can actually do is you can take out one person and put in another person. You can remove you know, one for one. If you want to take out one person and bring in a tag team, you can do that. If you want to swap within the card itself, so move this person from this match up to this person with this match, so they flip-flop that way, you could do that too. Or you could just get rid of one match entirely, bring in a new match with all new, entirely new people, and you could do it like that. Let your imagination run wild. Um, also on last week's episode, we uh, told you about a little thing we're doing called the Royal Rumble Challenge. 
an opportunity for people to earn eliminators. And basically what that means is because sometimes people, Larry, get carried away uh, when it comes to being creative about the people that they're trying to book in these matches. We have eliminators. And what they do is they allow the person who holds them to eliminate someone entirely for being used in this year's Mayhem Mania at all. So, um, Sorg, uh, we did the Royal Rumble Challenge. I won't run through how uh, that all went. Um, some did better than others, but at the end of the day, there were some of our uh, players who did earn some eliminators. So uh, let's congratulate Dave Podner, won himself two eliminators. Whoa. 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 I think he's in the chat room, but he has not chimed in yet to say who he wants to eliminate or eight. So um, we'll just kind of leave that as it be. You can hold on to these and use them later if you wish. Um, the reason you might want to do that is perhaps there's someone on the card right now that you don't want to see. Um, you can't eliminate them if they're on the card. You have to wait for them to get moved off, and then you can pounce like a jungle cat, and you can get rid of them. Um, also, uh, Brandon uh, won himself two eliminators. Uh, Bobby F. J. Town won himself one eliminator. Wow. Mad Mike won himself one eliminator. And if you watched over the weekend, I went on the record because I wanted to play two, and I won myself one eliminator two. Is this the this most guy. eliminators that have been in play for Mayhem Mania? Mm, maybe. I, I don't so. know. I'll have to check. Well, we'll check we'll with see. the Mayhem Mania historians. Yeah. Um, anyway, I will tell you right now that, uh, first of all, um, I will tell everyone who I'm going to use my eliminator on. Larry, you oh, inspired man. me. I am using my eliminator for Ric Flair. We will not Whoa. use him at all in this year's Mayhem Mania. Yeah. Thank you very much, Larry, for giving me that idea. Oh, brutal. Um, <laughs> Brandon brutal. did have uh, did uh, respond to me with who he, how he wants to use one of his eliminators. He's going to hold on to one of them, but he's using one right now. And Brandon is eliminating Drake Maverick Whoa. from Mayhem Mania. What? Oh, sorry, Brandon. Brandon, not me. Oh, Brandon did Brandon, that. I'm upset You're welcome. You. So uh, this week, we are uh, going to get the ball rolling here. The lineup is Larry, then Mad Mike, then Tina, then my wife, and then oh. the Beast Man will bat clean up. So Larry... Hey, Matt, Matt, don't you want to ask me if I want to use my Eliminator? Mad Mike, do you no want to use cares. your Eliminator? Yes, I do. Oh, well, sorry. Um, Good deal. See, this is important to chime in. You got to speak up if you want to play Mayhem Mania. Mad Mike, who do you want to Eliminator? <laughs> Um, in the year of the man 2019, uh -oh. we should never, ever, ever see this man on a television ever again. So Jeff Jarrett, you can go fuck yourself. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and this play, wait, Jeff Jarrett is on your, on your <laughs> thing. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> what? Oh, taken away. Because I, I'm looking at that Velveteen versus Elias match and I know some fucker wanted to add Jeff Jarrett to it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but trouble there. Yeah, you're 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 probably right. Um, Sorg, let me while Larry thinks of his move. Let's run through the matches. Let's do that. <clears throat> First off, we have Braun Strowman versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro, created by yours truly. Uh, next up, we have Elias versus the Velveteen Dream, created by Sorg. We have Pete Dunne versus Drew McIntyre, created by Ty Cross. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe, created by Farnsworth. Mustafa Ali versus DJ Z, created by oh, Alex okay. Cars. Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss, created by the wife of the show, Missy. Ricochet versus Shane Strickland, the old 1C from Mad Mike. And uh, Kushida versus Leo Rush from Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, the ball is in your court. All right. Wow, wow. wow. As much as I like. Uh, hold on a second. Oh. Jen, we, were hearing, we are hearing your microphone, Russell. I believe. Just a, just a heads up. Oh, Larry? Oh. As much <laughs> as I like Joe and want to see him in a match. Oh, no. I don't want to see Lesnar. So Ooh. I'm going to get rid of that match altogether. Oh, no. Wow. Mm. wow. And I'm going to write an injustice that was caused last week okay. by not putting it on the board the first week. We are going to have the man, Becky Lynch, mm -hmm. damn it, face Rhea Ripley. Ooh. All right. You know, Ooh. You know, uh, that is... Larry, Larry, you just, you just can't ruin all my plans. <laughs> <laughs> is it because I wore the shirt? What? What? No. No, it's not. 
Mm-hmm. No, that's just it's just life. It's <sighs> okay. Look at that. Larry. Okay. Okay. Mad Mike, you are up, and Tina is on the deck. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Oh, now I have to. Now I have to. Re- Dave readjust. Podner chimed got, in on the uh, gotta, eliminator in the chat room. Has anyone well, checked? Let me the double check on. That. I don't have it open right now. Did I got to recalibrate what's going on? Recalibrate. Here. Was it? Was there something from Podner there? Something from Podner. Oh, he's holding oh, he's his cut out there. Oh, oh gotta okay. hold him. Don't okay. forget about him, Dave. Don't forget about him. I hate to see that happen. Man, you expect me to sorry, sit here Mike. And- Hold on to no, this. It, hey, this I'm, is a good I'm chance. Very upset. Whenever I'm, people I'm get a little stumped, year, it's a good uh, time for me to uh, mention that coming up uh, later on, we're going to have Talking Mayhem Mania. Um, check your local YouTube channel, your Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> Show YouTube channel. Uh, this week's guest, uh, maybe I'll have Larry on this week. I'm feeling Larry this week. He did forge me a whiteboard. I did. Yeah. That's what a right. guy. Okay. All right. I, I'm ready, Matt. All right, Matt, Mike. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so this. T.Y. Crossy guy, yeah, his match is going away. Just entirely? <laughs> Just entirely. Because, first of all, Garza, I love you, Garza. Your graphics are amazing. You wrote Galloway. That just brings back bad TNA memories for me personally. So I think that's Pizza Garza versus- trying to tell us which incarnation he enjoyed more. So. Yeah, Pete yeah. versus Drew McIntyre, that's completely gone. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have a dream match of many. Uh, the How top one percent EC three versus John Cena. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, the, who right. made the poppy sound? Ooh. Who did it? Yeah. Is that you? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I think it was everybody that was out there. Thank wait, you, wait, 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 before we move on yeah. to Tina, um, uh, Ponder asks if he can jump in in the middle of a round <laughs> with his eliminator. If they're off the board, you can jump in whenever you want and use your yes, eliminator. Go, yes. and, go and drop that in the chat. Oh, we and, will... and Ty Cross is saying that's literally just a shot at me. This is business and he's making it personal. <laughs> yes, because that's what Mayhem Mania is. Yes. And I come for the throat, motherfucker. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Mayhem Mania, Ty Cross. Ty, perhaps you weren't I'm wearing properly... this shirt for a fucking reason. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's bring Tina in. Uh, Jen's on the... Uh, on the uh, in the on deck circle tina how are you doing good yeah nice to see you again uh, you got any uh, ideas on this thing here um let's see as much as i would like the Kushida leo rush match <laughs> oh cut away to larry cut away to larry <laughs> oh larry how you doing over there make make the face <laughs> he's got the face he got the face <laughs> all right go ahead taylor dan that face so is gonna... sadder without a beard now <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do away with that match all into okay all gone but. and i would actually like to add just a little bit more carnage to the card Ooh. so we're gonna add sanity all yes. three of them okay yes. against gallus out of the nxt uk so that's the coffee brothers <laughs> and <laughs> spell gallus yeah. <laughs> yeah, spell Gallus. G A L L U S. Okay, uh, Gal us, Gal us, sure. Gal us. I yeah. love it. Sure. All right. Cool. God, I I kind of want you to add like Nikki and Tony Storm to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good times. All right, Tina. Good job. Thank you. And Thank uh, you. let's bring in um, <coughs> my my wife. Um, how are you doing, honey? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Great. Is that your is that our dog? <laughs> <laughs> the dog just like picked up his head right as we got to her. Uh, He's like, something is amiss. I'm on the internet. <laughs> now we have him. Uh all right, honey, go ahead here. Let's see what you got. What is Gilbert's pick? Oh Gilbert. <laughs> Butterbean and bark gun. Would be Gilbert. 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 Leave my puppy alone. <laughs> <laughs> um what are what are, what are my choices? What are your choices? Are your here, choices? let's take a look at the whiteboard. I am right in here. I'm in a glass case of emotion right now. You and oh. me both. It's been a rough day. Oh, uh, let's see. Day. Um well, I mean, already on here, uh you got my match uh Braun Strowman versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro. Uh Sorg made Elias versus Velveteen Dream. Uh Mad Mike just made EC3 versus John Cena. Larry just made 
Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley. Uh, Alex's match is Mustafa Ali versus DJ Z. Missy made Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss. Uh, Mad Mike last week made Ricochet versus Shane Strickland. And Tina just made Sanity versus Goss. Did you, did you just you woke up the echo? Goss. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, now, the, now, the one with Alexa, Stroman. Alexa, cut it out. The one with Stroman. Can I take two people out? Uh, you can't take two people out. You can only swap one for one. I'm going to hit you that could thing add with the sledgehammer. The add echo is going, you got your bone beast, man. Can you just like take out the the echo for us? Sure. <laughs> um, oh, Mason just fell off the couch. Anyway, um, um, if you're looking, if you're looking for someone to eliminate, Alex just threw out Butterbean versus Dean Ambrose. Quiet you. And he no. said, he no said, no leading the witness. Said that he doesn't want to lose his match. <laughs> See, I told him to fucking cut through. I don't care. <laughs> um. Let's see. I gotta put Dean in somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said your intentions are clear <laughs> what is going to be the Dean Ambrose loser leaves town match uh, I, Jen I think you should book Dean versus Nia Jax <laughs> you know he, he and uh, Tamina they're drinking buddies Yeah. oh even better they, Dean they and Tamina are drinking buddies yeah he forgave her last on Monday because they were old drinking buddies <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Are that they called TV. Tadina? Damina? Oh my Damina. God. Yes. All right. Take. Shot clock's running down, honey. All right, please. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Take Tadina. Oh, I can't. Matt, you give her unlimited shot clock if you don't want to sleep on the couch. Unlimited shot clock. <laughs> I, I've already <laughs> run out of my stuff that I can BS about um, the waste time. Okay, that match with Strowman, take one of those guys out and put Dean in. Which one? Well, you got Strowman, Bate, or Cesaro. Oh, come on. Or just add Dean. I mean, who cares? Let's make it a four way. Yeah, okay, just add Dean. Yeah. Let's have a four way. Uh, Wheel says uh, Dean versus Moxley in a loser leaves wrestling match. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jen, you can push him into traffic. It's okay. <sighs> that was oh. fun. Beast Man. Thanks, honey. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. So, Hold on producer Miss. Yes, Missy. No, I want it. Nope, Podner. she's Podner. Podner. Oh, Podner. Another country heard from. Lesnar. Lesnar. Okay. So Les- just like that, Lesnar Le- has been eliminated. Lesnar has been eliminated by Dave Podner of the Tiny Shutter Podcast. Oh man, I can't book my Oscar versus Lesnar match. No, really. no, that's not happening this year. <laughs> Nope, not All anymore. Right. You can Podrick book Oscar versus in. Paul Heyman. Oscar versus Paul Heyman. Let's do it. <laughs> Beast so, man. So can I eliminate a match mm-hmm. and add? Okay, say if I want. Okay, say if I want to eliminate a match, but one person's in the match that I want is still in it. And can I add uh, them back in? Uh, if you, it's like a one-on-one match, just get rid of the other person. And you can replace a single person. Bring in, in that other person. Yes. Yeah, you can do that. What if I want to eliminate three people? Uh, that's a little bit too much. I can't let you do that. I'll hit. We have rules, Sorg. We do have rules. Please speak into the mic. Every we society have rules, has Sorg. rules. It's in the book. <laughs> it's, it's in the book. <laughs> Remember, I'm a kid. The Mayhem man, Mania so. rule book is like three times the width of that thing. <laughs> that is true. Well, let's so. see here. Pull up the board. So, I since I can't the see the board. Sorry. Uh, oh, no. can, can you tilt that towards him, uh, Matt? So no, you know, just go on the camera. Just put it on the camera. Right, I'll just leave it on there for it'll be up in a second there. Uh, so I mean, what, what we got? Strowman, a picture, picture and picture. It's like we're playing Wheel of Fortune. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we, still, yeah. we still have Elias versus the Dream. We still have EC3 versus Cena. We still have Becky versus Ripley. Uh, Mustafa Ali versus DJ Z because he's a free agent. <laughs> Trish versus. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm, oh, Miss Bliss. Miss Bliss. Bliss. Thank you. Uh, Ricochet Strickland and Sanity versus Gallus. That's a cue. See, oh the one the one match I want is Strowman got taken out. I wanted to do Strowman versus Galloway versus Pete Dunn versus Lars Sullivan. I'm not sure how you get to that place. If I'm- the way things are set up. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, how did we set up a three way in the first in the first 
I created it. You created it. I manifested it. You can make any kind of match you want. Can we eliminate? You can make the match without Strowman and then see if someone comes in later to help you out. How about we do this? Let's take out. I need the screen again. It'll it'll be back. It'll be back. (laughs) I'm going to piss some people off here. Let's take. That's the game. Let's take out Ricochet versus Strickland. There we go. Uh oh. Now we're playing. Oh, let's get this thing proper. Nice. All right, that's fair. Whose that's was fair. that? Whose was that? That was Mad Mike. Mike. Oh, Mad Mike. Mike. Mine was booked in anger anyway. I didn't expect it to last. It <laughs> he, was he was it distraught. Was, it was born out of spite. It dies <laughs> it was, out of spite. Of, but the abs. Okay. But the, all the abs. All right, go ahead, Beast oh, Man. What you got? Ricochet. I I want to see. He'll be back. <laughs> I want to see Drew get out. Oh, not Drew. I want to see Drew McIntyre versus Lars Sullivan. Ooh, don't we all? Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Okay. All right. The freak versus the psychopath. Versus Samoa Joe. Three way? Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Very good. Very good. All very good. All right. Okay. So what does that leave us with? Here's what that leaves us with. Good job, Beast Man. I know I kind of put you in a corner there sometimes. I'm sorry when I... Try to think. Why is the cap on this... He's, he's, fight, he's fighting Larry, the marker. Larry, this marker isn't working. He's Forge me another one. You're not allowed to be picky. <laughs> All right. All right, here we Man, go. Matt Carlos, here what, we go. what is what the, we got? the big board brought to us I'm, by DarkForgeStudios.co? Let's see what we got. Um, first off, we got four-way. Braun Strowman versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro versus Dean Ambrose in his farewell match. Sorg's match. Elias versus the Velveteen Dream. EC3 versus John Cena. Becky Drop Lynch versus Rhea Ripley. Mustafa Ali versus DJ Z, Trish Stratus versus <clears throat> Bliss, um, <laughs> Drew McIntyre versus Lars Sullivan versus Samoa Joe, and Sanity versus Gallus. There you go. Still wasn't that easy. Oh man, I can't wait for the hey, don't Garza forget, reactions. Um, you can always uh, play the uh, Mayhem Mania home game, which you can pick up at any uh, slice on Broadway <laughs> Sorg. It's the lid of a pizza box. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> See past episodes when we were in the basement of what that looked like. You don't um, know hard times, Sorg. No. We knew hard times. We knew Just hard use times. the top of the pizza lid as your whiteboard. Bro. That's right. Pizza that's boxes right. and post-it notes. Well, there, yeah, there's post-it notes, for, uh, multicolored post-it notes. Was there any sense to the colors other than just they were multicolored no. there were probably I was a reason you also need friends you need like two or three you friends to help, three friends you. help out right all the names and get in fist fight with but anyways in the meantime go check out our friends something less fist fighty our friends at uh, uh, occupy pro wrestling and dot com joey janela's our la confidential saw some insane wrestling action but not without some casualties their wham fam brother marco stunt was injured in a match and has had surgery to repair a broken leg he looks to make a full recovery but seeing as a uh, they both love, uh, share a love for Nickelodeon crossovers. Occupy Pro Wrestling is looking to help 100% of all proceeds from What a Maneuver and shop.occupyprowrestling.com will go to their buddy Marco through the end of January. Just only a couple of days here to take advantage of that, help out uh, help out Marco Stunt there with that. They got a lot of great stuff over there, including as featured on Lucha Underground, the Legends of the Lucha Temple. Wrestling is smart uh, after the uh, Friends logo and so much more. Yeah, get started over at shop.occupywrestling.com for another good cause. Uh, our friends over at Occupy Pro Wrestling, they're always helping out their buddies in indie wrestling. Thank you so much to those guys for that and supporting the show our buddies here and supporting this show uh, on their network as well so really do appreciate that giving hey, a shout out need a sponsor if they if they're interested in sponsoring beastman give me a there shout there you go there you go uh give a shout there and hey they're looking to do starting up the podcast here soon so uh you never know uh who's gonna get uh, on there so um it is now time to find out what we learned from pro wrestling this week uh, larry are you okay over there are you you just you just hooded up you're hiding right now yeah i lost one of my matches oh oh uh, you're <laughs> what did you learn I'm rooting what did you learn from pro wrestling the positive oh. area of pro wrestling before you got shot down in mayhem mania oh, man. come back to me damn yeah, it 
I thought you'd be I'm, ready I'm, for I'm this. All fl- I'm all flustered. Tina got me all You're flustered. flustered. You're it's, flustered. It's not like you don't know this question is coming. You do it every week. I'm surprised every week. Man, Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that the Irish really impacted the Women's Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> you had you had Hornswoggle eliminating Zelina Vega. You had Fit Finley saying it's okay for Becky Lynch to go into the Rumble, mm-hmm. and you had Becky Becky Lynch winning the Rumble. So really, the Irish the Irish have, are coming. Good week for the Irish. <laughs> how, yeah. how great was Finley at the end? Hashtag there? hashtag luck of the Irish. How Irish. great was Finley just like milking that moment, it's getting ready for his like just Hall like run. just that little. So Fit Finley got the biggest pop of the Royal Rumble. So good. Oh, he did. He did. He was awesome. Mainstream Matt, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that uh, Dean Ambrose is uh, soon to become the hottest free agent in professional wrestling, presumably after Kenny Omega signs with All Elite Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Somewhere Thank here you. along the lines. Find Thank me you. a more coveted professional wrestler on the planet than Dean Ambrose once he checks out at WWE here at the end of uh, April or whenever that's going to be. There, You ain't going to find one. Dude's uh, going to make some bank. Mark my words. Uh, wow. He might even put together some good matches, too. Beastman, wow. you got somebody? Oh, Beastman. you were signed to the Fight Society. I'm an independent, brother. Oh, all right. <laughs> Second most coveted <laughs> professional wrestling free agent. Behind the Beastman. Behind the Beastman. Behind the Beastman. Hey, maybe man. we'll get that Beastman Ambrose match we all won. Hmm? There you go. Beastman versus you Moxley. Down? Well, it was down a little yeah, bit. All right. There you go. There you go. Uh, Tina, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned there were so many matches in the Men's Royal Rumble that I want now. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Like Aleister Black and Drew McIntyre, I want that match. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. And Zelina Vega versus Hornswoggle. That's right. That's right. (laughs) Careful, man. Who's taller? Jen, probably end up on the board. <laughs> Jen, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? It breaks your heart. It breaks your heart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jen. It's okay. It's a work. You still have Valor. Work. Yeah, you still have Valor. Yeah, did you see what happened on Sunday? It breaks your heart. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and maybe other you body parts. Your back. didn't literally kill him. And yeah. your arm. It breaks your arm. It breaks your arm. <laughs> if there ain't no paint, winning he ain't. So. <laughs> wow. wow. That's good. That's good. Uh, on the couch. Thanks. <laughs> Beast man, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I do it way too much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right. All all of that and that's what you learned? Uh yeah, that and the Rocky steps is pretty high steep compared to what I was thinking it was. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. We got from the chat room here a couple of these. Uh, Bobby F. J. Town learned that the only segment he wants to see on WWE TV is now Miz and Shane uh, taking their dads on a father and son day. I also learned, <laughs> I also learned that Xavier Woods wants to get this uh, over with so he can go home and play some Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, <laughs> Wheels learned that uh, WWE doesn't know what to do with Elias. Yep. Or um, Rusev. Mad Mike uh, illustrated uh, some concerns with Elias last night. Uh, you can see a short clip of that on our social media uh, as well. Uh, Alexander Cars learned that he, he could, in theory, book Kenny Omega for Mayhem Mania if he does it the one week between his New Japan contract expiring and when he signs with AEW. Does that math work? Does that math work? Wait, 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 wait. Do we have a ruling on that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's rules. So yeah, there's, there's rules. a lot of rules. I mean, do we have a ruling on the rule? I got to take it to the competition committee. We'll see the what's competition yeah. Yeah, come on, the competition committee. Wait, 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 who's who's on the competition that? committee? Uh, Drake Maverick, Drake Rick Ma- Flair, <laughs> <laughs> Brock, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Everyone who gets eliminated Jeff, is on the Jeff, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Jeez. Larry. Uh, um. Oh, I learned uh, why uh, New Japan's not sending any other Japanese guys to. Yeah, the yeah. yeah way to go, government. Yeah. So none of the Japanese guys got work visas because of the shutdown in time. So all the uh, New Japan uh, U.S. Uh, dates got uh, um, outsourced. I outsourced. Guess. 
we'll say. <laughs> the Ring of Honor. So Ring of Honor. <laughs> yeah, he used those filthy domestic talents. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. So it, it, so from what I understand, this American tour it was not on the the New J- New Japan World. This was a, an American like non televised tour they were doing, right? Um, it's the New Beginning tour, a road to New Beginning, maybe. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's happening here while the Japanese one is happening with everybody else. That is going to be on New Japan and everything. So um, that was interesting. But also part of that, friend of the show, Shane Taylor, was talking about how he wants to go to Japan and be part of New Japan. And now he's partially fulfilling that. At least he's he's working for New Japan. And, and hopefully this will also turn into maybe a trip down the line for our friend Shane Taylor. Uh, so so I, I'm just glad to see that connection is starting to happen for him over there. So, um, do, 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 just check, double checking. There's nothing in the chat room here. Um, I learned from wrestling this week that, um, I, I don't know if AEW is for real, but, oh but half oh. the world, half the wrestling world seems to think it. Um, oh my God. with the mic. Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. And again, I like I you know, between like I, I haven't seen this kind of like rumor mill, you know, Dean's going, you were hearing everybody's asking for their release, whether it's true or not, but that like that 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 pot is stirring. And hot stove. It is a hot stove. And 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 yeah, and again, is. like there's no television deal, there's no anything else like in place that we are aware of. This, everything's speculation. I don't think we've heard anybody say no. no t- there isn't one because if there was one, they would have announced it. Mm-hmm. Um, people who think you know the TV industry is weird. Sorg. I mean, sometimes that's they, right. Uh, take people their who time. think that WWE are shook by AEW, or or as I've seen in a tweet, Vince McMahon is shitting his pants. Oh yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> well, that has nothing to do with age. I don't believe anyone knows that. Yeah, for that, sure. that that would have to do more <laughs> to, more with age than anything. Else. <laughs> <laughs> age in his diet, you know, of, of pure protein. You know, pal. it depends. <laughs> all that I go, <laughs> I, I, I go pro for all these years, you know. <laughs> but, but if if anyone thinks that oh, oh WWE is making people change AEW shirts on TV. Why would they give free advertisement on a pay-per-view to someone? It's like if you're shooting a Pepsi commercial and an extra rolls in wearing a Coca-Cola t-shirt, you're going to make him change what he's wearing. And also, for the record, there was a guy who was an asshole front and center on hard camera on SmackDown showing off his AEW shirt because he wants to be cool. Fuck you. <laughs> AEW. AEW may as well be Global Force Wrestling at this point because... They have one announced show. They have no television deal. They have 10 wrestlers. Now, I love Cody. I love the Bucks. I hope they kick ass with whatever they're doing. I loved All In. I hope they do great. But as of right now, there is no fucking way that Vince McMahon or anyone at WWE even cares about AEW unless they're looking to join it. And I don't care who joins it. Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, The Revival, Zack Ryder. I don't care who it is. Unless it's Jonathan Anthony Felix Cena, what? none of them will matter. Yes, those are his real middle names. Felix? Yes. Anthony, Fe- why, Anthony wait, Felix Cena. Why yes. do you know this? I heard it once and it never escaped my brain. Because it was so odd. And you now you've infected the rest of us. You are welcome. For that internet, you can't see him, but you'll hear all his four names. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, if anyone thinks that AEW is even going to put a dent in WWE's business, you're fucking moronic. And uh, just all right, like, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, our like, friend in the you, mainstream you don't has call yourself elite when you don't have a TV deal. Get off your WWE logo, high horse, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, no one involved. Oh, wait, no one involved. Matt has the floor. Matt first has the of all, floor. no one involved with all elite has even stated that they are intending to compete with WWE. They're merely just doing their thing. So we'll see what shakes out. As far as the TV deal goes, sure. we'll see what shakes out. As far as 
WWE being shook? Maybe not, but the wrestling industry itself is shook because we're seeing a lot of movement as far as contracts being offered in New Japan, offering multi-year contracts where in the past they wouldn't necessarily do it. We're seeing Ring of Honor being very aggressive, signing talent, getting them locked up to replenish their ranks. A lot of ex- it's a good of time the- to well, be a professional wrestler looking for a I company. Would- that's right. I That's right. Know that. That's right. Beast man, future signee to AEW. <laughs> Don't laugh. I, I, I'm Don't Beast laugh. man, no. Beast man, would you like to state your intentions I'm for 2019? La- I, that is merely my expression of joy at the mere concept of, of just the, the mere thought brings a smile to my face. And the reaction that Mike's face is making. <laughs> that also is enjoyable. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. I had a little extra bonus rant there at the end of I think I, did I get everybody? I think everybody is taken care Jen? of. Did you, oh, Jen went. Jen went. It's painful. It's painful. Right. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm right. tired to cue her again because I think yeah, she might be crying. Um, but, so where's, where's everybody at uh, on where's everybody like at on the chat room? Like where are they from? Where are they from? We got everybody. Latina's up in the Seattle area. Uh, we got our, a couple of friends down in the L.A. area. We got, uh, I know one uh, tunes in from Kansas City. A lot of people around for the Pittsburgh area, of course. New York. Um, that's every state that I can think of represented Texas. in there. Texas. There's definitely Texas, Texas in there as well. Texas in there. That's right. That's right. Well, hey, look. I got something to say real quick. Okay. I am a uh, traveling independent wrestler. I don't like being at home. I love to travel. So if you want to see Beastman in your area, don't be afraid to tag local promotions on my Facebook page and tell them to follow me on Twitter at Beastman Husk. There you go. Beastman Husk. Tag your promoter. Get him. Get Beastman across the country. I can promise you this right now. I am more unique than you think. I am not like your average wrestler. A lot of these people who have seen my videos already know that. That's right. And I will promise you one hell of a show. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Go check them out. Thank you, Beastman, for joining us uh, as thank well. Thank you for having me as always. Uh, Larry is uh, straight from the basement at darkforgestudios.co. Yep. <laughs> Working on my playoff beard for Mayhem Mania. Playoff beard for Mayhem Mania. <laughs> a fresh start. Fresh start. Mainstream <laughs> Matt. Yeah, one T. Fresh start. Look out for it. <laughs> <laughs> Check out. Stay tuned for Talking Mayhem Mania. Mad Mike 483 on the tweets. Also, YouTube.com slash Poppy. Mm. Jen Carlins. Ooh. Jen Carlins is also <laughs> watching Poppy. Paul. Is also watching Poppy on Twitter. Ooh. Poppy. There's a video I need to watch of Poppy watching hardcore wrestling. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yes. And of yeah, course. You're... I'm going to post I'm... it in the chat room. I'm just happy my boys haven't found Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Oh, you're real lucky. None of us pulled, pulled them up when they were over here um, the other night. If, if you show them Poppy, please, oh, record, their re- please record their reactions. <laughs> you're not allowed to your order. And Tina Keys, who I'm sure you showed your son Poppy by now, right? He actually found her before I did. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Did he? Wait! 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 wait. Side note: did, did he like introduce Poppy to you and explain it? Yes. 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 Awesome. <laughs> uh, where can people find you online? Uh, I don't plug myself, but I will plug the indie feds that are here. Three, two, one, battle. Defy Wrestling has a show in Portland with John Hennigan, and as well as Without a Cause here in the Everett area. That's right. I know without a cause, a friend of the show, Max, out there, uh, we've interviewed way back in the day, um, and I you know, had our, our boy Sean Phoenix. I just got to see some footage of uh, Sean out in that promotion uh, shortly after he had his injury here. Uh, went out just a couple weeks later, I think, right? Uh, they flew him out there. So uh, good, good stuff happening there. I always see, thanks to Tina in the in the Wrestling Mayhem Show group, I see a lot of their shows, and it looks like uh, a lot of cool stuff happening. I got to get out that way, for sure. The closest I've gotten is Portland. So um, that that needs to oh, happen. Can I plug one more thing? Oh, sure. Hey, you have the floor. If you're a fan of Ring of Honor and you're a veteran, they are giving a bunch of tickets away to their shows. Go to vettix.org and you can get some free Ring of Honor tickets, even free New Japan tickets as well if you're a United States veteran. Oh. Uh, bet. That's awesome. Nice. And, I, and I did like the, the ones you posted that um, um, some of the groups were doing uh, free tickets for people affected by the government shutdown as well. Um, I think yes. was it. Over- uh, that was 
That was Ohio Valley Wrestling out of Louisville. Awesome. Awesome. Like, cool stuff. And, and, I, and I definitely encourage when stuff like that happens, um, other promotions. I, I know some shows we've done. There have been troop shows I know in the area that have done that in the past. And I'd like to see happen more often, even here in the in our in our neck of the woods as well. So that's a challenge to you guys, uh, local indie promotions, wherever you may be, uh, to do that uh, as well. So, hey, Tina. Yes. Can you link those companies that you were talking about, three, two, one battle, and the other one, <laughs> Portland? Yes, sure, no problem. Please I can surely do that. This man wants to come out and see you, Tina. I, I, I love the like. I honestly <laughs> want to come to the West Coast at least once. Like, I especially Portland. Yeah, I would love the Portland. Dude, territory. wait till you see the Northwest, man. It's a, it's something else. It is awesome. Yeah, like out there. Uh, I think like Sword just mentioned earlier, Sean was out here. Sean Phoenix was out here for Without a Cause, and he was actually out here for Three Two One Battle as well. And you will be a fit for the battalion out here. There you go. Fantastic. Let's make it happen. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, on the live stream that's been hanging with us. I know it's been a long one tonight, and I don't know how long the podcast itself is going to be, but thank you, Mayhem Nation. Keep an eye out for Talking Mayhem Mania and everything else on the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast network. Uh, Sexy Fireman will be on the Indie Mayhem Show this week, so go check that out. Hey! That's right. We talk about his upcoming calendar. Ooh, Sexy (laughs) Fireman! Dude, Sexy Fireman and Poppy in a video is like my dream right now. Maybe Uh, my nightmares, but anyways. uh, We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.